What is up, peeps, and welcome back to some more Dark Souls. So last we left off, we went back to Fionn Shrine. I showed off the second way to get into Blight Town, and now we're back in the depths, ready to go exploring. So, as we can see, there's a big ass red chest there, and um, there's some rats here. This is actually. This is what I like to refer to as being the humanity run, uh, for a number of reasons, <laughs> which involve humanity. Okay, <laughs> uh, let's get something. Which has got some. I was gonna say I don't want to. Uh, rats are susceptible, or likely, in any case, to drop humanity. Um, and the as a first place, like in terms of first places to go where you can f solidly farm humanity, uh, this is one of them. The best way to go around doing that, though, is to have plus ten, uh, plus ten, as uh, have uh, ten humanity on your humanity meter, and to have the gold. Uh, serpent ring attached. Now, obviously, at this point, we haven't collected that yet, so we can't attach it. Sewer chamber key, uh, which is the it's the place where we were. Uh, it's the place with the bonfire, if I remember correctly. So, uh, but to, to do this run effectively, you would need homeward bone, um, not or a homeward bone or homeward. Uh, the faith, the faith spell. Big ass red. We'll climb down. Uh, and I don't believe we can open this door from this side. Yep. But this is um. This is supposed to lead you back up that way, um, to the bonfire. In any case, we're going to press on, press on, press on, press on. So we've dealt with the rats on the other side and we couldn't go up. So we're going to go down this side. Big ass rat there. And let's get the spear back attached. Cool. Come here, bitch. Come here, bitch. I'm going to wreck your shit. Wreck it good. Uh, mind, so if you, I think there's one coming up ahead, uh, on the floor, you will see, traverse the white light, on the floor you'll see there's, um, there's a channel here, there's dick channel. Can I like? I, I was gonna say. Oh, God damn it! I say channels are dicks. I don't like them at all. Oh God damn! Did you see that shit? It hit me three times over. Anyway. <laughs> well, we were human, right? It was bound to happen. <laughs> Uh, I need to be more careful. I've got coffee here. I haven't touched it yet. I probably should start drinking it just to get to get on point. Oh, well, there's a familiar sight. You did. Don't care about you. You did. You did. You did. You did. Come on. I need you to die for me. <laughs> See? The, the likelihood is that is humanity right there. Um, yeah, there we go. See? So, uh, very susceptible to drop in the humanity. Drop in the humanity. Mind this rat. 
and this one that's going to drop off. In fact, you can do a plunging attack like that. Cool thing about this shield as well. Well, I was gonna say it helps reduce build up, but that's goes just for poison, don't it? Don't it. Anyway, making our way back to where we were. Take on the dickish Chandler that, that was waiting for us. Get that one humanity that we had back. In fact. Yeah, I was going to say, we'll have to come back to that bonfire. We're just going to explore this episode. Uh, because uh, we'll need to... We'll need to human out. Just take it! Take it, take it, take it. What the shit happened to the channel of that? Like when... I don't know, it looked like he flew back. You did. So I don't think there was anything else around here. Except some rats. And... The bus arena down below. You can see some items indicating that you will be going down there at some point. Item. Large titanite shard. Kill. Mind. Can't remember if on the left there's... No, there isn't. Okay. No. Is it here? It is here. Turn around. God damn. So I know there's a rat down that side. <laughs> uh, mind these, because uh, you will drop, and some of them are pitfalls that lead to your death. So you can jump over them. The spear is a nice weapon to have in this area because narrow corridors. Big rat is there. In fact, there's another way of dealing with the big rat. I'm trying to remember how you do it because you can drop onto one of the. See if I can find that so I can show it. Ooh, whoa, I'm not even sure what happened there. We went straight over. Wasn't paying attention. Wasn't paying attention. God damn. Can I equip it in time? Can hear it. Alright. I was gonna say those bitches. Blocking off our path. Can sploosh? Oh. Okay, now, if I remember correctly. We need to go back this way. And jump across this one. Perhaps not, because those are dead, okay. Um, this is why I don't like the depths. Okay, so we're back here. Right. I know what we're gonna do. I know exactly what we're gonna do. We're gonna take on the natural progression that we're supposed to take and drop down behind the hatch 
uh, behind the, the butchers. So I did show it, I didn't use it. Nope, I went past the door. Where is it? Um, God damn, this place is dark. So dark. Okay. So yeah, so we went up to there, and so bonfires on the the left there. All those are dropped. You can actually see. I'll just quickly. The rat is in this area down there. I'm not going to stay too long there because. Um, we're gonna get swarmed by those slimes. Uh, but uh, once you've got the gold, sil uh, gold silver serpent ring, gold silver, gold serpent ring, uh, you can come back there and you can farm them for. I believe it's green and large shards. Uh, they're a pretty reliable source. And if you've got pyromancy, uh, then it's it's cakewalk. Come on, doggy. Don't be like this. Doggy number two. Won't play. Oh, come on now. Don't be like that. You did. Okay. Doggy here. Come on, doggy. Don't want you up my keister. What the shit? Okay. Uh, so in terms of progression, okay, there's nothing else here. It's cool. Break that down. Break that down. You can fall here. And. If anything, this area is probably best for you to explore first, because there's an item on that ledge over there. Which is the... I mean, we've already got it, but it's the, the spider shield. Uh, what you gotta do. And that, that right there is the, the pathway that we took with the slimes. God damn, it's so dark. So dark. Go over here. So I've got a, I've got a habit of walking around my shield up. Uh, it's just a habit of <laughs> playing these games for so long. You enter in your area, it's just like shield up. So yeah, so... You can either throw shit at them. I mean, as you see, that's dealing some pretty decent damage. Uh, otherwise, you can just drop on it. I mean, like we just did. Uh, as big as this rat is, um, it's not overly difficult as you just saw. Explosion! Soul of a nameless light. And yeah, this is where we came up. So the reason you'd want to come down this way, see there's a door there. Um, you can open that door by going down here. And yes, unfortunately you do have to drop down to the very bottom. To the Basilisk territory. To these small-eyed assholes who look like they've got big eyes when in fact they don't. Curses. In fact, before we progress that way, I'm going to go and lock that door. Peekaboo! Peekaboo! Take it. More humanity. 
take it. And this is... Yep. There's a... Slime. Come on, slime. Just, just die, slime. Just, yep, there we go. <laughs> and yeah, if you go up here, well, I'll show it. I'm just going to clear out the few rats in this area. Bloom. You did. Pew. Pew pew. 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 You did. Managed to get a hit off in there. Oh, there's another one here. Did not see you there. Kill. So, it's cool to see that these bars actually, it's something got out rather than something got in. Um, and this is this is what most people probably fail to realize, is that this door is in place to keep things within, or keep things out from the outside perspective and keep things in from the inside perspective. Um, it's locked. There is actually a merchant here. Hi, shall I? And a good day to you. I'm Donald of Zena. I'm just a peddler of sorts. I adore trinkets and oddities, so I trade for them. What you gotta say to us? Hmm. I'm afraid I don't see anything here. So he's got some gold pine resin, and it's worth. I mean. Let's go to the item, uh, rare pine resin, which emits golden sparks, applies right, uh, applies lightning to right-hand weapon, blah, 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 uh, both bat magic and fire, blah, 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 very effective against dragon family foes. That's the very last line is the very reason as to why the gold pine resin is being sold by this particular merchant. Uh, because if you followed the area in terms of progression, you'll come by him, you'll buy a shitload of this, and we've already got two, so we'll buy one, if not two. Uh, because when you're facing off against the Gaping Dragon, the Gaping Dragon is obviously a dragon, which means that it is susceptible to um, to that, to lightning. He also sells some crystal stuff. Crystal stuff is really awesome and um, deals a heck of a lot of damage. Uh, but you can't upgrade it and you can't repair it, so it's kind of like a one-time thing. Uh, so yeah, and he also sells some, uh, well, his own armor set. Well, he's found it really sad that um, there's no there's no enchantments, there's nothing special about this armor except that it it it's unique of sorts. I mean, um, thank you. That was a find. I have this funny feeling we. Yeah, we will. We will, buddy. Um, but yeah, it's not like in the, it's not like in the second one, for instance, where the Explorer set grants you additional item discovery, um, or not, nothing, nothing special about it, really, which is a shame, it is a shame. Okay, so this is the door that we were at, that leads back to... This area here. Yahar. Yahar, Yahar. And this looks, this should look familiar because up here is the bonfire with the slimes. All the slimes. Um, so, yeah. The only thing you might want to consider getting before you come down here or explore the depths in, uh, in, in detail, in full depth, is uh, get some purging stones. Uh, from the partner up in the in the tower in the citadel in, in the church <laughs> because uh, those basilisks will from time to time unfortunately get through to you will petrify you and um, 
half of your health disappears when that happens. And there's only two ways of doing it. You either get a purging stone or you get the the pardon or you get to the um blue 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 I'm trying to find my word here. You get to the um the dude up in the uh, New Londo that can lift your curse. Uh, but more on that later. In any case, we're going to leave it here for now. Stay tuned for some more Dark Souls coming out soon. Until then, as always, stay awesome.